everyone. Welcome to Covenant TV. My name is Tabitha Dung. I'm from Vietnam. And right now, I live in under a covenant. Maybe not one covenant, but many covenants. There may be the covenant between man and man, and there will be the covenant between God and man. As a believer of Jesus, we are living in the new covenant. That is the covenant between God and man. That covenant was made by the Lord Jesus Christ. So to be able to live under a new covenant with God, first of all, we have to believe in Jesus and accept Jesus as our Savior. Today I want to share in about my testimony about how Jesus is changing my life. I grew up in a Buddhist family. You know, all of my family, all of the generation to generation, we uh, we worship the Buddha. And we have the temple, especially for my mom. So she really the Buddhist. Uh, she, she has all of the idols at home. And she has uh, their own Bible. And she worship and... I mean, every day she worship the the Buddha in our our house in Vietnam, and by chance, so God brought me to the United States. And um, once once of my coworker, so every day she sharing about Jesus to me. You know, she she sharing Jesus really truly about Jesus. So she said, if you don't believe in Jesus, you will go to the hell. And I was so mad of her. I don't know how come I can go to the hell, you know? Because I, I, I talk of myself, I'm not a bad person, you know? I, I didn't kill anyone, I didn't steal, you know? I talk, I, I, I was a good person. To continue to talk with me, that if you don't believe in Jesus, you will go to the hell. And, you know, it means in a group of people, my co-workers, there are many reasons too, but only my friend, she different you know and i wanted to be like her she really pure in heart and every day she just talk about jesus with me and then she gave me a bible and i i started to read the bible english bible even though i didn't understand but i i read slowly and slowly i read i listen some people preaching online you know i was on up the uh movie for the kids for the children you know bible story i i, I listen all the kind of stuff and it, it took me a year to listen all of these and read the bible and um and one day I said, man, my my right hand it mean is i got hurt right here in my wrist i mean it this it happened long time ago is it come and it go away and and it come back again and at that time, it really, really hurts. And I wanted to appointment with the doctor. But I remember the pastor Benny Him uh, preaching one time. He talked like this. Sickness does not belong to you. Sickness belongs to your enemy. You know, I bow down to God and I pray. I pray for two days, you know. And Jesus, he really came. And he really healed my hand. And you know... Um, you know, I, I was unbeliever before, you know, I used to drinking, smoking, and gambling. You know, on, on board, every weekend, I, I went to the casino to play the casino. I lost money, I feeling sad. But, you know, behind me, there was a force always pushed me to go to the casino over there. At home, you know, I feel lonely, I feel sad if I stay at home, feeling like that. Even though, you know, I, I live in a house, I have a good job. I studied the college at that time too. I studied to be a pharmacist at that time. That that's was my first year. And Jesus came to my life, you know. It means I, I knew that the casino gambling is not good, drinking is not good. But I couldn't quit, you know. I couldn't quit by myself. But when the time when Jesus healed my hand, it means it, Jesus turn my life around and at that moment no more drinking no more smoking no more gambling 
and and forever like this and until now you know i don't taught any any anything of this and i don't want it anymore in my life too and then um on i still remember on february 28 in 2015 so my best friend so she invited one pastor me and my pastor and came to minnesota and baptized for me at that time you know I, it was very cold you know in minnesota at that time winter time so you know very very cold but when i got a baptized when i get up oh my body like fire very hard like a fire and then a um, few hours later you know i just because my family all of my family were buddhist and i re i really really want to bring this good news to my family so how i can share in the good news to my family when i just knew a little bit about jesus so god opened the door and my friend told me that you can study the bible college and god you know i and I decided, okay, I will study the Bible college. I, 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 I stopped the college that I studied in Minnesota. And uh, we, we moved to the Portland, Oregon. So my school is in the Portland Bible College in Portland, Oregon. And you know, for, the, for a new believer to study the Bible college is not easy. Because I need a pastor to sign the Bible work for me. And I have to, I have to leave everything behind me. See, I moved to another state to study Bible college. It means I need a new job, I need a car, I need an apartment, I need money to pay for all of my school fees. It means everything. But God is really wonderful. I mean, when I moved to Portland in, in two weeks, I got a job and I worked on that job for two years. And, and the school, it made me very easy to pay for all of my school fee. You know, all the way long, you know, it's when I just started to believe in Jesus, there are many trials, you know, many attacks. The devil attacks me many, many ways. You know, the devil can do another reason, another people to stop my study, you know. They, they don't want me to study, even though they, don't, they didn't pay any dollar, any cent for my school fee, but they want to stop me to study. They want to kick me out of Portland. But I just bow down and I pray to God and God protect me and God provide for me, you know, for me to able to study. And while I study, you know, I, I have, I had a problem with my green card. So if I don't get my green card, I have to go back to Vietnam forever, you know, and I have to stop my study. So, but God is really faithful. That was a test of faith. So I have to trust in God. I have to trust in Him 100% of my heart because God already prepared a green card for me. And you know, when I really surrender, I really trust in Him and, and in, in the right time, and He gave me my green card. And now I already be a citizen, you know, a citizen of uh, the United States. And on the month of May in 2021, I already graduated. So uh, the Portland Bible College, you know, it took me five years, five and a half years to 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 finish my bachelor degree. I mean, it's longer than someone else because I have to study full time, I have to work in full time. But God is faithful, and He protect me, He provide for me everything I need. And finally, you know, I is already graduated the Bible College. <laughs> Tabitha Jung, Magna Cum Laude. Tyson DeBoer. And you know, on the way, you know, on the way, when I study the Bible college, whenever I study whatever I know, you know, and I share in the gospel to my family in Vietnam, I mean, I haven't been go back to Vietnam to visit my family, but we talked through the Facebook, and then my mom, my parents, and my sister, you know, they saw me, how God is changing me. Because they believe in the Buddhists for, for the whole life. And they're not in changing in the family. But God is really changing my life and turn my life around. That's why my parents and my sister started to believe in Jesus. And I mean, in 2017, so I, they already converted and they already got baptized. And, 
you know they now they are the believer of Jesus right I really really you know thank God for all he has done not for me but on for my family so I was the first person in my family that believed in Jesus so I that's my God calling me you know to share in the good news not only to for my family but for whoever for the world everyone need Jesus I now I live in the new covenant you know and then the, Jesus had turned my life around no more sadness no more lonely now my life is joy and peace and happiness so that's what I want to share in with any one of you right now you need Jesus especially in during this difficult time the pandemic time we don't know when it stops you know, but people live, living under fear and stress and many things problem and we don't know how, when it ends. But in Jesus, you have peace. He the peacemaker. Repent right now. Whatever we can repent, you repent right now. You don't wait until tomorrow to repent. Repent right now and accept Jesus and your Lord and your Savior in your heart and peace will be with you and the salvation for the eternal life will be with you I want to share in this for everyone and may God open the eyes of your understanding may the Holy Spirit help you to believe in Jesus and accept Jesus as your Savior thank you everyone for your listen Shalom God bless you